Alright, so we're at the music festival. I finally got the sound running. They still don't have the lighting running, but he said he's wanting to do all the lighting. He's just running the equipment from me. He's wanting me to do on sound because apparently the other sound guy is not coming until later. But anyways, I'll show you what we got though. Uh, as you can see here, we have the QU16 by Allen and Heath. Uh, this was our digital console that we used for this event. Uh, talking about learning on the fly, I'm not too familiar with the QU16 prior to this. So I literally had to dig in and find all my compressors, my gates, all my effects, crossovers, everything uh, on the fly, but was able to find everything I needed, thankfully. Uh, there you can see my APC Mini and my, my DMX dongle. Uh, QB with Cloud9, he's the one that hired me to run sound for his event. He is running his own lighting for the event using uh, some of my lighting equipment. Uh, now the sound, there was another sound guy that they had rented all this sound equipment from that was originally supposed to be running sound for them, but due to a scheduling conflict, he was not able to make it until later this evening, uh, hence why they took me off of video and lighting and put me on sound uh, to run his sound equipment until he got there. Uh, for mains, he's got JRX 200 series passive speakers. We got JRX 215s on top, 218s on subs. Uh, there you can see my Alto TS-212 uh, powered monitors on left and right, and then for the singer and drum monitor, we have uh, JBL Eon 615s. Uh, also should note that the amps that were powering the mains, the JRX 200 series mains, we had two QSC 1804s uh, powering those. Uh, mics, we for our vocal mics, we had on early singer mic, we had a, a Shure SM58 and then Beta 58s for backup vocals such as the DJs and such. Guitar amp mics we had two SM57s and then our drum amp, or excuse me, our bass amp was the iBox. Here on our drum mics we have an Audix i5 on the snare. Uh, we had two Audix D2s for rack toms uh, which we only needed one throughout the night and then a D4 on the floor tom and a D6 on the kick drum. So an entire Audix, Audix uh, drum kit there and off to the side there you can see the amp case there. Uh, and again, the base amp was, uh, we used DI box. Uh, lighting, uh, we had these LED spiders that Cloud9 provided themselves. Uh, and then, of course, my cost of lasers there for abduction later that night. Uh, and then the swarms in the shimp would be coming in later for his show. And then uh, here you can see some generic LED PARs that Cloud9 used to wash, wash the stage and, and uh, spotlight some of the performers. Now, as far as sound goes, I should mention that the, the mains, the 215s, were set in a stereo array. However, the subs were set in mono. The reason and only reason being that I did that is because we needed to free up a return on the snakes. We used two 100-foot snakes. We used left, right, and subs. And then we had four independent monitor mixes and then one left over for DMX.
Alright, so that did not quite go as planned uh, for several different reasons. Uh, one, uh, as you just saw, <laughs> we just started out with uh, abduction and of course me doing the lasers for him, the laser show for him again. and. Uh, You know, everything out there was being run by generators, right? So, literally, if we, if we were having a difficult time, to say the least, to get the DMX to respond. Um, I still don't know what happened to it, but long story short, I got it working just before Jared's set, so uh, we were able to use it. And then, you know, we're doing sound check, we're getting the lights and everything raised up, make sure everything works get the fog going and his fog machine actually did decently well um, I actually couldn't see him uh, right after he fired it off I actually couldn't see him on stage because it just stuck around so much but uh, yeah so he gets he finally gets started he just started playing his intro and the generator that is powering the the generator is powering the uh, console and uh, my laptop runs out of gas and uh, they used some some dude used the gas that we had gotten for the generators to refill the generators to get them going used it to pour into these uh, the fire bins I don't know if you saw those in the earlier video but uh, to try and get fires going and all the fire hitting all these big barrels and uh, so we didn't have any gas to put back in there and long story short Quite frankly, I wasn't complaining because it was already so late, and uh, well, you can see how tired I am. It's three o'clock on the dot right now uh, in the morning, and I'm just now leaving Nashville. Secondly, uh, something kind of sucky happened. Uh, they were expecting a bare minimum of a thousand people at this event. There was far from a thousand people. Uh, very few actually showed up. Uh, I would say probably a good 200 maybe. But because of this, uh, you know, the client did not make as much money as he had expected. And uh, we had agreed on a certain number. And he basically walks up and gives me less than $100. Yeah, which is, to say the least, substantially lower than what we had agreed, especially for me working 16 hours. Uh, you know, I get it, it, and it sucks not getting paid, it really does. I get the problem, though I would not have honestly agreed to do this uh, without a deposit. I thought he... And that's the, that's the agreement we're going to make for any future shows. I'm not going to drop him or anything, but um, I think he's learned his lesson, I hope, as far as how to handle things, because I thought he had already had the money set aside and budgeted uh, based on what how we how the, our conversations were going, uh, and apparently he did not. And uh, so, yeah, I, I got pretty gypped, and, and basically, you know, I told him, I said, look, you know, business is business, uh, you may be my bud, but, you know, we got to take care of business. And so basically, you know, he's got an account with me, we're going to work out a payment plan because I got to get paid, you know. Like I said, business is business, uh, and that's what it comes down to. So yeah, uh, interesting night. I didn't take a lot of video this time, simply because, to be quite honest, uh, you know, this was a first year for this music festival. There's a lot of amateur artists there, uh, but man, it was mostly rappers, quote unquote rappers, and I won't, I don't honestly understand it. Uh, in my opinion, they were just not very skilled, but that, uh, the one band that you saw previously was, I thought they were pretty good. Um, and oh my god, this lead singer actually knows how to use a microphone. He was the only person out of the entire night that knew how to properly handle and use a microphone. Uh, 
God, it, it drove me nuts, these other guys. But, you know, it's just part of the business, unfortunately. Uh, we had a problem with one of the DJs throughout the night, too, constantly cranking up his gain on his DJ uh, mixer and completely blowing out the uh, QU-16. Uh, and we told him about 15 times, like, look, if you just lower it, we'll raise it to where we can go. These, you know, it's just a GRX, you know, speaker system. So, like, these, these speakers are going to be pushed so hard. You know, this is not a concert hall, uh, you know. But, so that was, it, it got really frustrating. So, by about the 15th time of telling them and him immediately turning it back up again, I cranked him, I just put him way down, make sure that our system was going to, it was a little bit safer, you know. Uh, it wasn't my system, but uh, <laughs> he, th uh, and you know, and this sound guy, uh, you know, we hit it off pretty good. He, he came in while I was already working and it was, of course, handling his equipment because uh, he's the one that they rented the equipment from and uh, he was pretty impressed. So, you know, it's, uh, and, and I'll go ahead and say this. He was pretty impressed to the point that he basically gave me his share of pay um, because he knew I needed the money, you know, and he greatly appreciated my skill and my knowledge. Uh, so I thought that was pretty cool. I thought that was pretty dope uh, that he was willing to do that, that he had that much respect for me after beating me for half a night. Um, so, I, you know, I thought it was pretty cool, and we and him hit it off pretty good. So maybe he'll be calling on me as well uh, for future gigs to help him with. And, and vice versa, he might be helping me with stuff. Uh, we discussed a couple of things, but, you know, we'll see where that goes. So anyways, uh, I am headed home. I am absolutely tired. I am trying not to yawn every other sentence. <sighs> Look at that. I'm very, very exhausted and desperate need of a shower. So yeah, that pretty much concludes the events for the night. Um, the same client is wanting to hire me for another event in Nashville. I thought I had two weeks before this event was to happen and apparently it's this next coming weekend uh, <laughs> so I'm not sure if I'm ready for this but you know maybe if it's a simpler job I think it's just running sound for a band showcase so uh, you know it might and it's indoors and you know four nights so it might be worth doing uh, but you know obviously uh, with the issues we had tonight I told him that first of all I've got to have deposit uh, you know, a certain deposit would probably be at least half uh, before I can even come out there and, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, but yeah, so we might have that to look forward to. And then we got FanCon coming up uh, in October. And oh, yeah, I've got another. Uh, the same client is actually wanting me to perform in one of his events at the beginning of October before FanCon, and then I've got um, Abduction has got us a show on Halloween night at the end, so if you want to come see uh, me as Cyborgs, uh, more than likely will be Cyborgs, I'll be dropping some heavy dubstep, and bass house, and jump step, and trap, and all that good stuff. Uh, Halloween night at the end in Nashville, uh, we're gonna put on a pretty, we're gonna try and put on a pretty sizable rave, so uh, pretty excited about that. But yeah, so that's it for now. Um, not much else to say about it. So I'll, I'll see you next time.